The second segment of the overview tutorial will focus on the tenth tool in the derivatives palette, the unfold tool. In our first example, we will unfold a hexagonal extrusion. With the polygon tool, which is in the third row, generate a 3D hexagon, which is the default polygon shape. Now with the unfold tool active, click on the shape. Observe the result. In our second example, we will unfold a sphere generated with the spherical object tool, which is in the first row. Before we do so, we select the Revolve Sphere option in the Shape field located inside the Spherical Object Options dialog. Now generate the Revolve Sphere. In the Unfold Options dialog, select Unfold as Faceted. With the Unfold tool, click on the sphere. Observe the result of the unfolding process. Note where you click on the object is significant and controls the direction and orientation of the unfolding. To confirm this, undo and reapply the unfold tool by clicking elsewhere. In the previous two examples, we unfolded faceted objects. Now, we will unfold a smooth object. Note that not all smooth objects can be unfolded, only those whose surfaces consist of developable surfaces. Such are faces whose surfaces are singly curved as opposed to doubly curved. They are also called ruled surfaces. With the Unfold tool, click on the cone and observe the result. When smooth objects cannot be unfolded, an option to convert them to faceted and then unfold them is available. This concludes the second segment of the overview tutorial.